Now the next thing that should be done to improve circulation is the horse's feet should be cut down. Initially, especially the first few days, the horse should be given no oats at all, only hay. In fact, even the hay ration should, can be restricted. Too much food, leads to, the blood becomes too rich, and that <coughs> significantly increases the likelihood of swelling. If you cut the horse's food down enough, his feet down, the swelling, that will significantly reduce the amount of swelling. Uh, it is a good idea to place the horse, a horse on something he cannot eat instead of having him stand on straw, put him on wood shavings or uh, something, sand or whatever. You have something that he won't eat, won't gorge himself with. Now, the how long does this stage last? How long is it before we start actually exercising the horse? Obviously, the most important thing that the thing that's going to bring the horse back to normal is exercise. All these treatments that we have seen so far will stimulate circulation, prevent adhesions, prevent <coughs> stagnation of swelling, prevent hardening of swelling, prevent the formation of new adhesions, and carry, away, carry away the blood and bring the tendon back to normal and heal everything. But even so, they will not restore normal strength to the tendon, they will not restore normal elasticity to the tendon, they will do nothing to improve the circulation in those parts of the tendon which have become significantly damaged by the initial injury and possibly by the circulation problems in the early stages. The only thing that's going to bring back normal strength and normal elasticity and normal function is exercise. So how long, how long a period do we have before we start exercising? That of course depends on two things. First of all on the extent of the injury. If the injury is very severe, you will have to wait longer, obviously. Now secondly, on how hard you've been working. If you've been doing everything you can to bring things back to normal, then of course you can speed up the process tremendously and you won't have to wait so long before you start exercising. Now, let's say that it just depends on the injury once more. The period may be anywhere between a few days and perhaps as long as one month. Therefore, after a month, we have to start exercising to bring the horse's leg back to normal so that all signs of injury disappear completely. So next, we're going to talk about exercise uh, and hmm, about trotting on the lunge and trotting uphill and so on. When the horse's leg has fined down and pretty well returned to normal, now you need to start exercising. Now, one of the, one of the forms of exercise which can effectively be used is lunging, as you can see here. Now, I am trying to demonstrate how not to do it right here. You can see that the lunge is hanging loosely. I have no contact with the horse. The horse is trotting slowly. Slow exercise like this does absolutely nothing for the leg. It does not stimulate the circulation sufficiently. It does not... <coughs> the horse is not exerting himself enough to strengthen the leg. It fatigues the tissues, which is... A is an important point because as you fatigue the tissues because the circulation has not returned to completely normal yet, it is going to increase swelling. Therefore, slow trotting like this can actually be harmful and could, can do more damage than good. In a moment, you'll see, uh, here we go, go we see now I have shortened the lunge. I've got a shorter grip on the lunge. I've got better contact with the horse. I've got my wh little whip out and I'm clucking at him to make him go. Only vigorous, fast trotting like this is of any value. Only vigorous, fast trotting like this will restore the horse's circulation to normal eventually. Only fast trotting like this will restore normal strength to the tendon and restore normal elasticity, in other words, normal function, making the horse absolutely sound. 
absolutely every bit as sound as he was before the injury ever occurred. <coughs> Now this horse injured his legs very badly and had a tremendous bow tendon about six months before this video was taken and in a minute you'll see what his legs look like now. The, all the swelling has disappeared and the legs have returned to normal. Now how long would you have to trot like this? It is important to trot, keep the horse trotting on the lounge for at least 20 minutes not once a day, but twice a day. The reason for doing it twice a day is because if the horse is left in the stall for 24 hours between exercises, there's a danger of, the, of, of whatever swelling is still there becoming organized and hardening and forming adhesions and so on. Therefore, it is absolutely essential that the horse be taken out twice a day. Now you can see the horse is broken into a slow canter, which is not good. When he's canting, he's not really using himself. It is only when he's trotting quickly in an extended fashion, keenly, and really using himself, it is only then that he truly uses the leg and we get the results we are looking for. In other words, a, rest a restoration of normal elasticity, of normal strength to the leg, and of normal circulation to the leg. You can see that I am walking behind the horse. Mm. Whoever does the lunging should take the trouble to walk behind him, cluck at him, and chasing along, chase him along the, with the whip, and, and at least try to make him trot as fast as he can go, really extend himself, really make him go as fast as possible. Only that kind of exercise is of real value and will restore the normal, normal function to the leg. Now this picture has been this picture has been taken to show you how incredibly this horse's legs have healed. If you consider that this horse had a huge bow only six months previously, it is incredible that every bit of the injury has disappeared. There is absolutely no bow. The tendons are perfectly firm. The horse is absolutely 100% sound, and the injury is has totally disappeared. The horse has actually run the race since then with no re-injury and <clears throat> you can see the tremendous advantage of this form of treatment and how well you can heal a horse's leg <coughs> by using this method. Mm. If, if he had been treated with any conventional treatment, he would have probably never raced again. And there would have been a permanent bow and uh, the horse would have been of no use for an awfully long time if he had ever held again. Like this, he's as good as new.